So I'm sure that the majority of you all remember back in January of 2023, one of the worst shows that arrived on HBO Max and really impacted pop culture, such as Scooby-Doo with the Velma series season one that featured a race swapped version of Velma portrayed by voice actor Mindy Kaling really set things across the board. Many fans were very much going against it, engaging in the backlash, really making sure that the creators of the show knew that what they were doing was 110% an agenda and not working with the audience. And now, season two is officially arriving on April 25th. It's been in the works for quite a long time now. And this just goes to show you that they are doubling down on their DEI agenda and how Mindy Kaling, all right, like I say, is the one who defends this through and through. She's not against it or anything like that. She's not sorry to be a part of the show. She is 100% for what is going on with this series. Let's get into this, shall we? This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, Mindy Kaling is another one up there in the agenda-driven crowd within Hollywood, and it's not a big shocker at all. She is the one who, after all, voices the agenda-driven version of Velma in the series. Now, one thing about season two is that we do know that from the creators, all right, behind the scenes of the show, double down on the agenda related to the series. However, on top of all of that, only, of course, things are beginning to get worse now, as Mindy is getting very defensive over this iteration of the Velma character, this new version of the Vel Velma character, which is a complete disgrace, obviously, because we all know what it's all about. It's all about DEI, it's all about an agenda, and really driving away the core audience. Now, with many Hollywood studios pushing their agenda with DEI, such as the Walt Disney Company, HBO is no stranger to that, as one of the biggest examples as well. Now, one major development now has much to do with Mindy Kaling and her defense over the upcoming second season of the Velma series for HBO Max. Mindy delivered the following before the second season arrives on the 25th. I just thought it was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. The way fans reacted in such a negative way with our first season, and it just shows how much of a problem we have in the current culture that we live in today. I thought it was absolutely offensive the way Scooby-Doo fans reacted on the simple design change we made for Velma, and how we really wanted to embrace a new animation style for this series. And I'm proud to return for season two, and for that to arrive. I think the greatest lesson I learned from the first one is that HBO sticks to their word on what they want to do with the established characters, and how we can provide those characters a different design catered to either a different race. I think this series is a fine iteration to allow Scooby-Doo fans to reach different ethnicities and to also widen the appeal of the story. Diversity is extremely important to me as an actress and as a person, and to my fellow co-workers, all these fans shouting and blasting their opinions about what they call race swapping a character is complete nonsense and should not be highly criticized when Velma had her time with her older design for so many decades. I see nothing wrong with our design choice, and I also hold no regret with our decision to move forward with a second season. Our support for diversity, equity, and inclusion is going to be supported even greater with this season, and I really can't say much just yet, but I think the fans that love season one will get what I'm talking about. Fans just blow things out of proportion and need to realize it's a freaking cartoon, man. Like, who cares what color her skin is or what her voice sounds like? It's a cartoon, and that allows the creators open to their freedom of changing such features. I think we nailed it with season two. It's a fine gem as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure fans are going to complain, but the reason we moved forward with season two is that we realized those that had these arguments about the direction of Velma season one were just a small number. I think most really enjoyed the series. I always saw Velma to eventually get a design change much like this, and the creators knew exactly how to make that work. I'm hoping one day we are able to do this with other characters of the main group, like Daphne or maybe even Fred, but you just always know what kind of response you are going to get from that. Scooby-Doo fans that grew up with these series, of course, should really quiet it down already and keep the inflammatory opinions in their households for the time being because it's not helping anybody. Now guys, let me just stop here before I move on from what Mindy is spewing. Now, look, whether you like Mindy or not, 
as an actress, as a comedian, whatever have you, is fine. All right, that's open below in the comments, you know, no judgment there. But I'm not a fan of her. I'm being very open and honest about that. I was never a fan of her. And this doesn't help either, all right? So this definitely does not help at all. The fact that she is mentioning that she would love to see the same exact thing that happened to Velma happen to Fred or Daphne or Shaggy or something like that just goes to show you how crazy these actresses truly are within the Hollywood bubble. And it's not just the actors and the actresses, it's also the creators. It doesn't stop and it's obviously a attack on culture and pop culture as a whole. So moving onwards, she goes on to conclude, all right, I still find it very offensive to this day that some fans have the nerve to say such things about our series by a simple design change and what they call race swapping, which is a made-up slang and means absolutely nothing. Well, look, here's the thing that I, gotta, that I gotta say about Mindy is that it is not a slang by any means. I mean, it's just, it's just a simple way of saying what it really is. They literally swapped her race and that's all that they did in the Velma series. So. Look, this is exactly why the Rotten Tomatoes scores were garbage back in January of 2023, when, especially when the first episode debuted. It wasn't good at all, and it is not looking good at all for season two. They're hoping to create new fans. I think, if anything, they're driving away any fans that were left when season one came out last year. Well over a year ago, mind you. So overall, Moving on to the conclusion, she goes on to end it with, I view it as nothing more than a design change, and so do the creators. We are focusing on creating a new generation of fans to grow up with this thing. Now, here's the thing, all right? You have a lot of actors saying stuff like that. You have a lot of producers saying near similar things just like that. It's all about creating a new generation of fans, right? Leslie Headland said about this uh, with The Acolyte. She also had Kathleen Kennedy talk about that with The Acolyte and the Ray movie. It's all about creating new fans. It's like, you know, going over old fans that are loyal and support such a fine product that have been embedded in pop culture for 40, 50, hex 60 plus years for some cases out there, and they just want to wreck it. It's obviously, like I said before, a culture war at that. Now again, uh, interestingly enough, Mindy really is getting very defensive from what it sounds like for season two, because I think if this fails, and it will, there's not gonna be a season three. I mean, you can't. You can't just keep spewing this when it's failure after failure. I think that what they were trying to do here is they wanted to see if season two would be accepted a little bit more once season one kind of went through all those loopholes and all that backlash to see what would happen. And well, it's not looking for any improvement in sight at this point in time. And I don't think it would even with the season three if they decided to green light that. But anyway, guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about the agenda-driven Velma series. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.